Gaussian feedback equalization. Remember that we said that a zero forcing equalizer is computationally very simple owing to its linearity, but its performance is worse than most equalization strategies. A way to improve the performance of a linear equalizer is to employ Decision feedback. Let us take an example to understand this concept. Suppose that there are four modulator symbols 1, minus 1, minus 1 and plus 1 and the channel response is given by this sequence. The signal at the input of the equalizer is given by the convolution of these two sequences. We employ the intuitive method of convolution to find the output. At the first step, we can see that HM is multiplied by A0 hm minus 1 here we should have m minus 1 hm minus 2 and hm minus 3 hm minus 1 is multiplied by a1 hm minus 2 is multiplied by a2 and hm minus 3 is multiplied by a3 what we are doing here is that we are shifting the channel response one step at a time and we are scaling it with the data symbol at that instant this is what convolution does suppose that our current time instant is m equals 2 so here the inter symbol interference arrives from symbol 0 a0 symbol 1 and symbol 3 the idea is that even if the channel response is known we do not know a3 therefore we cannot do anything about it however we have already taken a decision on a1 and a0 which are pass values if my current time is given by m equals 2 if the, these pass values are known then their effect can be subtracted from the resultant sample at this point which significantly reduces the ISI. This is called precursor ISI and this is called postcursor. When we call the main tap as the cursor then this ISI is the postcursor ISI because this exists after the main taps of their respective time indices. And this is the precursor ISI that occurs before the actual main tap of that time index occurs. Here we draw this concept in the form of a longer channel response. So we see that the post cursor ISI can be removed because the decisions on these symbols have already been taken. The precursor ISI comes from the future symbols. If the direction of pre and post cursor ISI seems a bit confused, you can always look at this figure to understand this concept. The design strategy is that we split the equalizer in two separate portions. So there are two different equalizers. One is a feed forward filter and the other is a feedback filter. The feedback filter has an input as the estimates of data symbols A hat M. And the feed forward filter has an input the match filter output ZM. The feedback filter removes the post cursor ISI with the help of symbol decisions, while the feed forward filter minimizes the ISI just like a regular equalizer.